Okay, just uh, a few words to start. For those here, thank you for coming. Uh, of course, uh, the, uh, the time uh, are not ideal for traveling. Uh, uh, for uh, many people uh, uh, that wanted to be here, or several people that wanted to be here have not been able to because of, um, in some cases, because of restrictions, in other cases, because of uh, visa issues. Uh, and of course, the, the um, geopolitical situation at the moment doesn't help at all uh, in having uh, um, good relationship between uh, uh, countries. Uh, we have good relationship between people, but unfortunately, we, we not always have good relationship within countries. In some cases, uh, and I apologize for uh, us being Italian, uh, I know that there have been people that have not got the visa because the embassy told them uh, we don't have time for appointments up to for uh, meetings for the visa until December, which is completely bullshit, sorry. Uh, it's better to say at, f until December we, we are not giving visa to people from this country because of uh, political situation. At least it's transparent. Uh, and it's the reality, just uh, hiding behind uh, uh, we don't have time until December is, uh, I think it's, uh, um, it's, it's even worse because uh, uh, people get, uh, do not get, they understand uh, the situation, so they would understand maybe, even if they don't like the, the decision, the, the political decision, uh, but in that other way, it's really, um, it's like a joke. And so I apologize for the people that cannot be here and uh, because of these uh, silly situations, uh, I would like to have everyone here because uh, uh, the Italians are wel a welcoming people in general and therefore uh, it would have been nice to have everyone uh, in this room or at least everyone that wanted to be in this room to be here today. And uh, for those are here, thank you for the people that are uh, seeing us uh, streaming. Uh, welcome to the conference as well. I hope uh, you can enjoy the conference. Uh, we will try to make it uh, as uh, easy as possible for you to interact with us. Uh, but use, uh, we have, uh, the Telegram channels, uh, uh, you know that we, you know our emails, you know the emails of the people that are here. If you have any issue, write to any one of us. We will try to uh, to solve the problem uh, if there is a problem uh, in uh, uh, interacting with us, uh, in uh, uh, seeing uh, the streaming, uh, in uh, technology or something like that. If you have a question, send a question, not to me because I'm speaking. Uh, not because I don't want to see the questions, but for the other people that are here in, uh, and you know many of them, uh, send your questions if you have them, uh, we will be happy to answer them uh, in the best possible way. Of course, thank you for the sponsors. Uh, so the two main sponsors are Allotropia and Collabora, but we have two other companies, Passbolt and NetService. Uh, they, their logos is smaller because their contribution is a little bit smaller but of course is important as well. And uh, of course, uh, uh, the Document Foundation is uh, in fact the main sponsor of the conference. And uh, uh, for the first time, uh, this uh, will be the LibreOffice Technology Conference because we announced the concept of the, the LibreOffice Technology last year. And this is the first uh, conference where I hope people will show uh, their advance that contribute to the LibreOffice technology. Um, the, the concept is uh, rather easy. LibreOffice was born as a desktop application. Uh, today, just a desktop application doesn't make, it makes sense, but just alone it doesn't make sense anymore. So LibreOffice, uh, Luckily, uh, is uh, a platform on top of which you can uh, develop 
different application for different uh, operating system for different platforms. So the reality is that we have LibreOffice uh, from different sources for uh, Android, for iOS, uh, for online. Uh, of course, uh, there is always space for improvement and have them uh, on m even more platform operating systems. Uh, but I think uh, we are in the right, if we work together, we are in the right direction to achieve uh, the objective, which is to provide the best uh, open source platform for personal productivity. So not just a software, but a platform that is uh, the, uh, the, the, the technology or the engine for the different software that run on the different platforms. So this uh, is uh, uh, about LibreOffice technology. Of course, welcome to Milano, or Milan if you prefer. Uh, I'm, uh, uh, as I said uh, yesterday, uh, although I'm uh, the one that lives in the city or close to the city, uh, I'm not uh, from Milano. I've been living here for 54 years, which is quite a few weeks. But the, uh, there is one person that was born in Milano. I don't see Paolo, but Paolo Pelloni. So if you have to complain about Milano, complain with Paolo and not with me. Okay, a few logistic information. The conference agenda and the venue map are on the conference website. Uh, this, uh, if you are here, so you have already reached the conference, but for the people that will be here tomorrow and on Saturday. During the conference, there will be people taking pictures of participants. Uh, we will use them on TDF property. No, no, no Instagram, uh, no Facebook, uh, no fancy social media. Pro maybe uh, Twitter and LinkedIn. Uh, and on the annual report. So if you have issues in being uh, in a picture that will almost never be only of you, but of the group, uh, please tell us. Uh, we will uh, try to take care of uh, uh, not using that picture for, uh, for these publications. Uh, every day at 1 p.m., people that were here yesterday already know that, uh, we will have lunch boxes uh, coming in. Food is vegan, so there's no real issues for anyone. Uh, once you have finished, uh, and uh, today we will uh, have the lunch boxes in the foyer, which is just, uh, you get out from those two doors on uh, the left and the right, not from the, the door upstairs. The foyer is there, and uh, we will have the lunch box uh, in the foyer and on Saturday as well. Once you finish your lunch box, everything is recyclable, so uh, you have to separate paper and plastic. Paper are, the boxes are all paper, even if you see transparent, uh, it's not plastic, that is paper. And then you have plastic, which are the cutlery, a bottle of water, and the glass. So we should separate them. Uh, it's not terribly, uh, it's not a huge problem if you mix them up, but if we do the, the, the good citizen, is even better. Uh, Friday before lunchtime, uh, we will take a picture of all participants. So we will, uh, I think the best place to do that is in Piazza San Fedele in front of the church because, or in front of Palazzo Marino, which is uh, on the other side of the, on, on the opposite side of the, of the square. Uh, we, then we will decide, but we will tell you tomorrow if uh, we get it uh, before the lunch boxes or after, but it's, uh, it's a matter of minutes. We, we go there, we take a picture, and then uh, we, we eat. And uh, every speaker should remember to send either Sophie or me the slide for publication, because uh, we, uh, we will not get all the slides for publication here, and uh, uh, we need them uh, to populate the, uh, the website. Tonight, community dinner. So you finish here at 6 uh, uh, or 6.30. 
you can take it easy because we will start uh, at seven. So it, uh, to get there from, from uh, Duomo, you have to go to Metro Duomo, so Piazza del Duomo. It's easy if you don't know where it is, but not seeing the Duomo in Milano, it's a really a uh, difficult task. So in front of the Duomo, you, find, you have the Metro. You go to the yellow line, it's Metro 3, Metro 3 yellow line. Uh, if you remember yellow, that's easy. You take it in direction San Donato and get out at Lodi Tib. Uh, it's, a, it's a stop. Tib is Tecnomasio Italiano Brown Boveri. It's a very old uh, uh, industry uh, making uh, turbines. Uh, of course, it's not anymore in the city today, but it's uh, called Lodi Tib uh, historically. So from Lodi Tib, uh, you will see on one side uh, a kind of uh, uh, um, bridge. It's a bridge over the, over the rails. You go in the direction of the bridge, uh, and the bridge is basically what you see, the, the first line, then you get via Brembo and via Benaco, and uh, you get to that point, there will be outside uh, a LibreOffice uh, uh, roll-up, uh, so you, you won't be uh, missing it. Uh, on f metro and on foot is half an hour, so take it easy. When you get there, you will, uh, there will be some uh, thing to, to eat, uh, not the pasta, because we will uh, start cooking pasta when everyone is there. Uh, but you will have uh, something to snack. Uh, everything, uh, because you are in Italy, of course, uh, everything is Italian. So uh, no McDonald's, no Burger King, uh, no Kentucky Fried Chicken. Uh, if you are really eager to get one of these, you should source them during the while walking, uh, and uh, we will accept you with your uh, McDonald's bag uh, in the for dinner if you really want to be intoxicated. If you want to eat uh, decent food, uh, it's probably better to get pasta. And uh, I, someone knows the recipes, uh, please do not tell. The, some Italians know the recipes, please don't tell the recipes to the other people, they should be a surprise. In any case, there will be three vegan pastas, one vegetarian and two with uh, meat. So there should be enough for everyone. Uh, the amount of pasta per person that we have is 300 grams, which is, I would say, quite enough. Uh, and then we have uh, five kilos of taralli and uh, scaldatelli to start, and beer. Beer will be from a, from a microbrewery in Milano, and the world uh, brewmaster will serve the beer. So if you want to, it's it's actually span. He speaks fluent Spanish, not a lot of English. So the you you can ask uh, the the Spanish people can ask him about how. He brews the beers. We will have a lager and a Belgian style beer. He calls it, a, if I tell you the names, the names are fancy names invented by him. So there's nothing, I'm not telling you anything that you know. So um, some such sightseeing suggestions. Milano, uh, that is, of course, uh, if you have some time to spend around the city, uh, I would suggest uh, to visit. These are probably the most in interesting uh, things to see. Uh, Duomo is very close, and Galleria Vittorio Emanuele are extremely close to our location. They are just behind. Teatro La Scala is on the square behind the Palazzo Marino, which is the palace that you have on the while getting out of Piazza San Fedele on your right. Then you have two museums. Pinacoteca is, means uh, uh, Museum of Paintings. Uh, it's an old word. There are also libraries. So, so it, it, these are uh, 16th century libraries which you can, uh, you can visit. 
the castle is uh, nice outside uh, and uh, inside uh, it's, uh, there are several museums. If you go there, uh, my suggestion is to see uh, Michelangelo's Pietà Rondanini. Uh, is uh, the last uh, masterpiece of Michelangelo. He was uh, close to, he died a few weeks after. Uh, it's unfinished. He died uh, while he was finishing the, the, the statue. Then you have Sant'Ambrogio and Sant'Eustorgio. They are the two brothers. Sant'Ambrogio is the protector of Milano and Santo Storgio was his brother. There are two beautiful churches, um, and San Lorenzo Maggiore is, uh, was the Roman church of the Imperial Palace. Milano was the capital of one part of the Roman Empire. And San Satiro, which is very close to Piazza del Duomo, is, a, is an architectural masterpiece of uh, Bramante. Uh, there is a lot more. If you are uh, curious about Milano, you can ask me. Uh, half of my studies were on history of art, so I know rather well the city and what you can see. Uh, on Saturday afternoon, uh, we can organize uh, some walking tour. We already did it for the previous Milan conference, so we can do something different. Uh, we can do the same, I don't know. Uh, one of the ideas w was to go to the uh, two other people that will not get lunch, because they are shy and they are behind the camera. So people in front of the camera will get lunch, people behind the camera will not get lunch. So Lothar wants to, is on a diet and therefore uh, he, he is okay. Uh, on Saturday afternoon uh, we can uh, discuss and organize a walking tour. Uh, one of the ideas was to go to the new part of Milano, so the new architecture. Uh, also because uh, there there is a supermarket where you can, it's a high level supermarket where uh, if you want to get back some uh, uh, food from uh, Italy, I've heard people want to bring back Parmesan cheese. Uh, um, that is a place where uh, you can get, uh, you have different choices, uh, you can get uh, not only food, uh, salami, you can get uh, whatever. Uh, it's called Italy. It's, uh, it's something, it's the largest Italy in the world uh, here in Milano. It's, uh, you, you can find them in, in other places. Uh, there is an Italy in Paris, an Italy in Berlin, but the one in Milano, of course, uh, has, uh, has more choice. And uh, I think uh, this is all for the welcome and introduction. Uh, again, welcome to everybody. If you have questions now, I think we have some time before uh, we start at 10.30 or even before the, the opening session. No questions? Yeah, from Trier. He was, uh, so Lothar is happy because he's from close to Trier, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I'd like to add a thank you to to you, Italo, for organizing all this. You were doing this, you were doing this less or more alone, on on site, and with, uh, as we know, quite challenging circumstances. So, thank you very much for making it possible to have the first in-person conference after two years. Thank you very much. Thank you, but it, wa it was a pleasure, and unfortunately, we have some limitations. Uh, people asked, for instance, why we have not organized a hack night. Uh, uh, it's really difficult, because if you have food, people will accept that you meet in, in a number of people. If you don't have food, uh, and you say, we are, we are hacking, hacking software, and they look at you and say, what you're doing? So hacking software is not a human activity which is partially true, <laughs> but okay. So next year probably, hopefully, we, the, the pandemic will be even more under control. We will have again a hack night. This year was really impossible. I've tried to find places, but 
everyone has told me it's, in, it's not the way to, to organize it. And uh, for the dinner, luckily, you will see the location tonight. Uh, is uh, uh, actually, I, being Italian, of course, I'm flexible, let's say. So the, uh, today, tonight, uh, you are all uh, learning how to cook pasta because that was uh, the trick. So it's a learn, it's, a, it's, a, it's not that I'm cooking and you're eating, but uh, it's that we, we are showing you how to cook pasta and therefore it's a training and we can have a training. Otherwise, no way. It's not a restaurant and no way you can get uh, pasta there, but because it's a, it's a kitchen school, uh, then uh, you can organize uh, a, a kitchen training, a food training for people, and this is uh, so if no one will come and check, but if someone c checks and say, no, I'm learning how to cook pasta, it's uh, interesting. Can get a <laughs> <laughs> I can print it, no problem, that's uh, <laughs> no value at all. Uh, 7, 7.30, but be, I mean, be relaxed. The only thing uh, at 11.30, not because I want you to go to get away, but because of the metro, it's better that at 11.30 uh, you leave because uh, metro ends up, uh, the, the last metro starts just before 1, 1 a.m. So to be sure that you get to your places without uh, risks, uh, it's better that you leave that at 11.30 so you have uh, at least one hour in front of you for uh, getting back to the hotel. It shouldn't be a problem. Uh, uh, metro in, at night is not as frequent as during the day, but there, is quite, there are quite many. So that is uh, last. But anyway, uh, tonight we will uh, have time to, to discuss. To change the schedule. No, no, no. To just uh, make sure that, that our laptops connect and the tables are right and the presentation shows up like it should be. But before the actual slot. Haha. <laughs> this is, uh, I mean, uh, the, we can check in the other room because the, all, the, all, the, all the settings are the same in the, in the we have only, in, in this room, we have only the opening and closing sessions. So basically, apart from a couple of people, Ilmari, and uh, I don't remember who is presenting on Saturday, uh, but the majority of presentation are happening in the other room. So the setting in the other three rooms are exactly the same. One room is not used, uh, so we can use that room uh, where there is an HDMI cable to check uh, if the projector is compatible, and, uh, and then you have to move to the other room uh, to, for, the, for the presentation. That is possible, yes. It's not ideal, but let's say it's the closest to, to what uh, we can do. Other questions? No other questions. Every, everyone is shy. Okay. It, we, it, we should lose 12 minutes, but <laughs> you usually are always running after the schedule and we are a lot in front, ahead of schedule. Ah, okay, sure, I forgot, you see. Um, people that has not got the conference bag with a t-shirt if you didn't get the, probably you already got the, the badge, uh, Sophia, the badge, uh, he, he, Sophia's the badge here in front for people that are missing their badge. Uh, when uh, we are uh, in the other, uh, at the end of the session here, you will have to get out of the, the auditorium. You just turn right, right, right. And so three times right, and you get to Piazza San Fedele, where there is the entrance of uh, the other rooms for the afternoon and for tomorrow. So uh, 
when you are there, uh, uh, if you ask one of the us, Sophie, me, or uh, we have conference bags uh, with t-shirts, so you you can get your conference bag with a t-shirt if you didn't get get it already. And uh, we didn't bring it here just to because we should bring them back uh, at the same almost immediately. So that's uh, for the people that doesn't know him. Uh, uh, this is Armin. Yeah, exactly. No, because Paolo wanted to kill you, I think, <laughs> because of impress, and therefore. Uh... <laughs> okay. So I don't know. I mean. I can uh, tell you stories, but... <laughs> okay. No, ju just a little bit about... Uh, if, you, if you are interested about the history of uh, this, uh, this area, you see several palaces, several... Uh, um, so we are in the... In the right, in, right in the center of Milan, you see there is a mixture of uh, new buildings and old buildings. The, the problem is that Milan got, was heavy bombarded during uh, the Second World War. Luckily, Duomo was damaged, but not too much. Um, Galleria was damaged, uh, not the buildings, but of course all the, all the glasses were broken. Uh, La Scala, that you, you can see uh, in Piazza della Scala, was almost completely destroyed. Uh, and many of the palaces around, including where we are today, were destroyed by bombs. So they have been rebuilt in the 40s, 50s, 60s, and this is the reason why you see in the center a mix of uh, old, very old in some cases, and very new, very new buildings. Um, Piazza San Fedele, which is the place where there is the, 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 the back entrance of the, the conference center, um, there is a church, that was the church of the Milan's nobles' families, because Duomo was the popular church, was for everyone, and actually, you see, the Duomo that you see today was built from the 13th to the 18th century, so 13th is the apse, and the 18th century is the facade that was finished um, in uh, 1860, <clears throat> so it's, a f it's really a fake Gothic facade. It uh, was made uh, during uh, the Romantic period. San Fedele uh, is the church uh, where the really noble family were, uh, were meeting, and is the church that is just side of uh, the, the, meeting, uh, the meeting center. The palace that you will see on the other side of the of the square uh, was uh, the house of a single family. Actu actually, was the house of a single person that was uh, a banker. Uh, was Mar it's called Palazzo Marino because the family was the Marino's family, and uh, it was a banker. So, if you today is the uh, is the seat of uh, Milan Mayor, uh, but. If you look at the palace and you see how big it is, uh, you can realize how rich Milan was in the 15th, 16th century. Uh, actually, the, Mari the, the Marino family was one of the first uh, large bankers, so they had uh, subsidiaries in London, Paris, and in other cities. So it was a family, but it was lending money basically to all uh, the uh, big countries in, uh, in Europe. Behind Palazzo Marino, you have La Scala. And uh, you will see that La Scala, the front uh, is still the original one, neoclassic. But 
everything behind uh, has been rebuilt uh, and has been rebuilt several times because the first, uh, the, the first uh, rebuilt after the war was uh, exactly as before. So it was, everything was wooden and uh, the risk of uh, fire was big and in fact there was a fire. So now uh, only the, the, the internal room is uh, with wood uh, and uh, is all uh, treated uh, to be anti-fire. Actually, if, if you are interested in seeing uh, the, the internal, you can uh, visit the Museo alla Scala and as a part of the museum, you can uh, get into the, the, Scala, the, the, the Scala Theater. You will see it from the main, uh, uh, from what is, it was is the royal, uh, the royal uh, place in the center, in, uh, in the back. And today, everything uh, you will see behind is all, uh, is, there is a big uh, white cube. Inside that, everything is, is completely automatic now. So basically, yes, they, the, 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 um, this is where they had all the machines before that were moved by people. Now everything is automatic, everything is moved uh, with a computer uh, to avoid the risk because it's very high, so there were people falling from 30 meters when uh, they were doing it on, uh, manually. And uh, just to finish, uh, if uh, you get out of uh, Piazza San Fedele on the right of the church, so you 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 just uh, when uh, you are in the uh, in, you have the the church in front of you, you exit to the left, and then you cross the road, uh, and after a few 100 meters on the left, there there is an arch that goes into a square that is Piazza Belgioioso, and the Belgioioso family was another very rich family in Milano, and that place. It's completely untouched since the 16th century. Just by chance was not hit by any bomb. So you still find uh, the Palazzo Belgioioso and the house of Alessandro Manzoni. Alessandro Manzoni is a very famous uh, uh, writer in Italy, uh, was uh, uh, the author of Promessi Sposi, that is a big classic. So that is, uh, and that is an hidden treasure because no one knows it. Uh, it's rather really hidden. You cannot get there by car unless you live in Piazza Belgioioso, which means that you are extremely rich. And uh, more or less, Belgioioso cheese. Quello fanno a Terni. Belgioioso cheese. È bel paese. Sì, ma bel paese cheese is toxic, please. So don't. Don't never listen to Gabriele when he gives you suggestions about food because it, you, you, you already mixes up the names of the cheeses. Huh? Italo, have you mentioned that we have a monument to the variety of the Milan, Ah, yes. <laughs> In front of the stock exchange, there is a monument that is a little bit. Uh, let's say, has uh, raised a little bit of concern when it was, yeah? because it's a, it's a hand uh, with, a, with a finger. It's a finger to the stock exchange. If you're really curious, you can go there, but I wouldn't suggest it <laughs> to lose your time to get there. It's just for security. They're, they're just supposed for, it's, um, uh, you know, Piazza del Duomo is considered a strategic uh, objective for uh, someone that w wants to make an, uh, an attempt to people because there is always many people. So it's one of the areas uh, where uh, we, as part of NATO's uh, uh, agreements, uh, we have to keep uh, 
uh, military presidium to avoid this kind of stuff. I'm not sure that this avoids, but you know, these are the rules and uh, Yeah, it's just, uh, let's say, for security, although I'm, I don't know if it means really security, but uh, that is the, you will find the same uh, in, uh, for instance, in Piazza San Pietro in Rome and in other places which are considered to be potential uh, areas of attack. Uh, Piazza del Duomo, of course, you, if you see it during a normal day, is uh, not really crowded now it's end of September but you can believe me in August uh, it was uh, in some cases difficult to walk uh, in Piazza del Duomo and in the gallery and also the gallery is considered a potential because uh, it's closed uh, uh, therefore we we will always say uh, but it's we have them for years we don't even notice them anymore because they're part of you know they're part of the uh, of this scenario unfortunately uh, the, 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 the geopolitical situation affects everyone so we cannot uh, in Italy uh, at the moment we, we are lucky we didn't have any major strike but you never know yeah also but <laughs> okay so let's start with the opening session. This is again a welcome for everyone. And uh, uh, again, thanks to the conference sponsor. And I think <laughs> this is uh, really. And uh, I invite here Torsten and Florian. I don't know if they have anything to say, but I have to invite them here. So. <laughs> I mean, if you want, I can no. dance, but... Yes, please. <laughs> it's not, it's not <laughs> the, best, the best showing <laughs> that you will see. Yeah, I don't think um, um, there's anything prepared, so let me just um, join um, uh, Italo in welcoming you all. Um, it's so great to see so many of you in person again after those dreadful two years. Um, yeah. It's, it's brilliant and, and it's a relief and it makes me like um, feel very, very positive. And, and we had so many great talks already in, in the past three days um, and I look forward to many more um, until Sunday um, when I will be leaving. Um, yeah, nothing much else to say from my side except like a um, big thank you and also a very, very large thank you indeed to um, the local organizers to Italo and the, the team from, from the foundation, from TDF, um, for s setting this up like under very, very, very difficult um, uh, circumstances uh, with a very last minute change in venue, um, which uh, 
I think Italo mostly pulled off single-handedly. Maybe you use both hands, I'm not sure about it, but it looked very single-handedly. Um, so yeah, just, just maybe another round of applause for that. It's greatly appreciated. <laughs> This time uh, for real is the last one because I said already that in Rome, but then because of the pandemics, I said I have to make up my mind, but this is for real, the last one. I will be 17 two years. For this so year, the last one. Forget, <laughs> I can help others, but. It's, it's a good way to lure you in. <laughs> No, same from my side. I'm glad to see all of you. Thanks especially to those who had a very long trip here. I know for us it's still rather convenient. Uh, it, it's still Europe, uh, which is a topic we want to address anyway, but it's still Europe. It's rather convenient. And for some of you, it was a really long trip, and it's, it's a completely different continent, and especially to those of you, especially in these times that are still challenging. Uh, my extended thanks that you... Uh, took the way here to, to Milan. I've, I've seen many people from far away. It's good to see you after that, uh, that long time again. Um, very, very happy that you took that burden. I know many of you took the vacations to come here. That is quite an ask. So thanks a lot for that. And of course, again, thanks to Italo for organizing that, uh, for running all that. That was really rather hands-free. I mean, you were doing everything locally with uh, challenging conditions and the, that last minute change of uh, location, so thanks a lot for that, and you definitely earned your merits in organizing conferences, that's for sure. So, glad to see all of you, welcome, and have a, have a safe and good week. Yeah, maybe to add um, to that, um, I just, uh, I've been talking to, to some of you, and I just learned that, that some people here, like, traveled for two days, um, uh, just to, to echo Florian. It is. Maybe you need to come closer. I yeah, think you have to closer. come closer. It's very sensitive, I yeah. think. Hello. <laughs> so Hello, Mike. If I, if I talk <laughs> from the side. side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ju just, to, just to echo what Florian said, and um, just uh, I was talking to um, a few um, of you and, and learned that some of you actually traveled for two days um, to come here, and then it's another two days uh, to come back. And yeah, it's just. Um, I'm very grateful that that, and it's an honor um, that you put that in um, for the project and um, and for the conference. Mm. The other thing um, that that came to my mind while we're talking about conferences and travel and all of that uh, was this um, this wonderful Latin America uh, conference that uh, took place in August, um, I believe, um, uh, and and organized by the um, by Olivier and and the. Um, uh, the Brazilian community, if I'm not wrong, um, and and was hugely successful. Like, how many participants? Three hundred something. We, we have three hundred and thirty participants. Uh, and and I think, um, given the fact that that we're a global community, and and um, that, I mean, possibly having a LibreOffice conference on another continent. Um, but, but if we don't do that, then at least having local, continue to have local conferences. We also had a, um, in the past, like um, um, uh, Asia conference or in, in Japan, um, local events. And I think that that's a, that's a model um, to continue in the face of perhaps continued challenges in, in traveling globally. Um, while at the same time, as I said, um, super happy and honored um, that, that people take it upon themselves to travel for such a, um, for such a long time. And um, yeah, maybe next time uh, for, for Latin America or, or Asia, uh, I can pull it off. It was a bit of a challenge for me um, this year. I, I w really wanted to go to, uh, to Brazil, but um, then I'm, I was very grateful that uh, Lotta was jumping in and represented the... <laughs> and represented, uh, let's say, the Euro European part of, of the project. What else there is to say? I mean, there's always a lot of... There's always a lot of people working in the background. I'm sure we'll forget many of them. 
but uh, also thanks to them just this morning we had uh, had Gilem around and uh, Mike to make the video streaming possible. Mike is sitting over here handing all the social media, I think. Uh, uh, perfect, per people. perfect, then nothing to add. <laughs> uh, so, uh, the people, I, I'll call the people in, uh, in the different bodies, so stand, stand up uh, so that people can uh, see you. I don't see Emiliano. Yeah. Ah, okay, so Emiliano will be coming. Uh, Paolo, Paolo Vecchi, Board of Directors. <laughs> Candy, you can say the rest of your name because it's... <laughs> Core. Laszlo. And Gabor. These are the directors. And then uh, uh, we have Gabriel here. And uh, Ayan, uh, who I don't know if he's uh, on the streaming, uh, but he's in Turkey. Is not able to attend. Then we have the membership committee. This is the newly elected membership committee. So we have Miklos, <laughs> Marina, who is in Germany, uh, Gustavo. I don't see Gustavo, not yet here, okay. Yesterday he had a bad night because of. Uh, jet lag, so maybe he's uh, still sleeping a little bit. Gabriele. And Uwe, I don't see Uwe as well. Uh, then we have uh, two deputies. Shinji. Not here. Uh, and Balash. Okay. And then we have Ahmad in Indonesia. And then... Uh, the, the team, uh, Florian, Sophie, everyone knows Sophie, so. Then we have Cloth in the aquarium there. Then we have Cisco, somewhere. Ilmari, Hossein, who is not here, is the developer community. He's on the stream. He's here on the stream. Yeah, okay. Then again in the aquarium, we have Guillaume, Olivier, Heiko. Mike and me. Okay, that's uh, the people uh, in, uh, let's say, the, 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 the core team of TDF, although I think uh, that everyone uh, is, a, is a core team member. Uh, I forgot Stefan. Sorry. Stefan, apologies. I need you. Uh, I owe you a coffee, at least. <laughs> Sorry, uh, and um, I think everyone is really a member of uh, the, the our uh, big and large team, uh, and uh, we actually should learn to be more a, a global team than uh, than we are. It's a challenge because it's a challenge, uh, we have, uh, the language is a challenge, uh, our different cultures are a challenge. I think that since I've been in this project, and sorry for speaking too much, but I, um, I wanted to express some of my feelings about it. Uh, when, uh, since we started this project, I've learned an incredible amount of things about uh, being uh, in a global team uh, and uh, having uh, respect for uh, other cultures. I, I frankly admit that uh, uh, my uh, respect of uh, 
several other culture was not the same in 2010, and that was my fault. It was not the fault of the other culture. It was just my fault because I was very superficial in uh, looking at the others. And uh, I think that the opportunity that we have with TDF uh, of meeting people, and in some cases of visiting uh, other people, countries uh, for uh, conferences is an incredible uh, learning experience. And uh, in this, uh, I remember, I, I, I try to remember you that we have uh, uh, a marketing budget, uh, we have uh, uh, the possibility of having grants for projects. Uh, and uh, therefore, if you want to organize a local conference, uh, if you want to organize uh, uh, um, an event in your country, uh, don't be shy, ask us. Uh, even if you have uh, just a basic idea, we can work with you to improve the idea and make it uh, a reality. If you have something interest to, to, to tell others in other countries, I think, uh, Talk to our members in the other countries. They will be happy to uh, make it possible for you to visit and talk at others' event. Uh, for instance, I, uh, with Franklin uh, in Taiwan, I was able to have a talk uh, at COSCAP in Taiwan. Uh, is the local uh, free software event, uh, but it was important to be there because you learn a lot about uh, their culture and their uh, reality. So. This is uh, an incentive for every one of you. Of course, uh, we, have, we, all as a, we all have a family a job and uh, we have to mix uh, uh, our uh, different duties. But uh, believe me, it's a very important experience to be and visit other countries, be with other people, mix uh, with other people at events uh, uh, because you learn, uh, you not only give, uh, but you take uh, a lot uh, in terms of culture and uh, personal growth. And uh, it's the oldest person in, in this room uh, to tell you. So if uh, uh, that is true for someone that has uh, almost 70 years, I think it's true for everyone else because you can really learn a lot. <laughs> So last couple of things, uh, um, we have uh, the conference schedule is online, um, check it regularly because we may, I hope not, but we may have last minute changes, uh, it is reflected immediately. Uh, if the page, uh, refresh the page because maybe you have the old version cached, uh, but you will always see the last, uh, the last version. We also have the streaming, uh, and for the streaming, uh, so uh, Emiliano, the red one, uh, and Uwe is the white one. Uh, I mean, uh, the, the red, uh, red T-shirt, white ass, on uh, because we uh, we showed everyone in uh, in the bodies. And um, yesterday, Mike uh, published on the blog uh, the links uh, for the streaming. So uh, the, the one of the links, uh, which is uh, the link for this room, uh, will be the same for uh, the main room in the afternoon. We will move uh, to, for the people that is looking at the streaming, we will move uh, just behind uh, this room uh, in, uh, in other sm in smaller rooms. Uh, the second one uh, is another room we will have to set uh, up uh, the, the, um, uh, the streaming, uh, so maybe in the afternoon uh, we will start a few minutes after 2 p.m., but we have already checked everything this morning, so it should work without the big issues in the afternoon uh, because the settings are the same. Maybe just one, one additional thing. So if you don't have uh, wireless access yet, um, then poke one of the people who seem to have. Um, there's a code here, there's a captive portal and the code, and so I um, can't obviously put this on the, on the slide, but um, just, and Italo is the master of the, uh, if <laughs> no. there's not enough code or not enough bandwidth. Yeah, we, we can ask for another code. 
Uh, then we have a conference application is available on Google Play and F-Droid. If you add it installed from last year, it has uh, updated automatically because the link to the application is the same. And uh, you can use the application to make your own uh, agenda uh, to, to follow the, the different talks. Uh, no, this, uh, uh, the stream JITS is not working, sorry, this is uh, last year, uh, last year uh, link, I forgot to, uh, to delete it. Uh, YouTube links, uh, we, we provide them at the, at the last minute, not because uh, we, 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 we are bad people, but because of technical uh, needs, uh, we have to open the, the stream uh, and it gives us the link uh, once the stream is opened. So we cannot have it before, so it will be always uh, some minutes before uh, the, the main the session or the morning of the or the afternoon session starts. Uh, the same, please check the YouTube links on a regular basis because they may change. Uh, if we have a problem, we have to create another link and therefore uh, uh, that can change. Communication channels, uh, we have two Telegram groups. Uh, one is LibreOffice conference main chat and the other is LibreOffice conference announcements. And then we have the mailing list, which is conferencegloballibreoffice.org. I think uh, is everything. Uh, oh, no, last thing is uh, the lightning talk session. It's uh, scheduled for tonight uh, at 5.30, can go up to uh, 6.30. We have three, uh, three talks uh, scheduled already. Uh, so there is still uh, quite a lot of uh, room for other talks. Uh, people interested in presenting uh, should talk with Tosten. That's me. And uh, let's say um, one hour before it starts, so by 3.30 p.m. maximum. And also, if you have a lightning talk after the conference, uh, please remember to send uh, your slides to us. And uh, Shinji is arriving. Uh, Shinji is from the membership committee. <laughs> and I think uh, now again, uh, time for questions. And then uh, we have the two keynotes from uh, Allotropia and Collabora. And uh, if we want to have fi a five minutes break, I don't know what time is it. Uh, uh, we have 10 minutes, so maybe we can have a short break. Uh, unfortunately, no coffee inside, uh, but uh, just to uh, make some gym to, for your legs. And uh, then uh, Torsten will start. <laughs>